Nice kitchen where the top of Waikiki is cooking up huli chicken and potato salad with a local twist. Check it out. Welcome to Hawaii's Kitchen. I'm John Veneri with Lance Kosaka, chef of Top of Waikiki. Uh, what are we doing here for our first segment? What are we cooking up today? Uh, we're going to do a, our version of huli chicken. Huli chicken? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, local favorite. Yeah, I was going to say that's, you know, you pretty much, uh, <laughs> that's a, a household thing for yeah, yeah. every local family. Yeah. Um, and tell me about your uh, inspiration behind what you've done here with it. Well, is there anything special that you've done with it? Well, what we do is um, we take a jidori chicken okay. and um, we take a half chicken. Okay. So you get a half bird. So it's then, a good portion. Yeah, a nice portion. So you get the breast and mm -hmm. so you get the white dark meat, you know. Cool. And then we marinate it and then we roast it. And so it's not your traditional huli huli. You know, huli means to right, turn, right? right? Yeah. But, you know, we try to make you it. You put it, what, in the oven? Yeah, we put it in the nice. oven. Nice, okay. And then we made a little potato salad, you know. So it has, like, um, fried potatoes. We put some lak chong and some... You know, celery, onion, and we put like a Dijon mayo kind of thing with it, and awesome. then we put some Whole Farms blistered tomatoes and some um, grilled broccolini. Yeah. Oh, broccolini, I like that. Uh, how long have you been with uh, Top of Waikiki? Been there almost going on to four years now. And you've yeah. been able to create some of your own dishes. Yeah, you know they've been very supportive in the fact that they want to change and, and you know that they kind of allow us. So what we do is, um, you know, Darren Sue, who's VP of operations, mm -hmm. he kind of tells us like, you know, I want to change this month or, you know, this quarter we're going to change something. So we think about what do we want to change. You know, stressful, so fun for you as a chef to be able to create new things? You know, it's all stressful, but it's also fun. But it's yeah. good because it forces you to, you know, don't get complacent. You know, it forces you to rethink things, you know, and, and it's good for the staff too because mm -hmm. it makes them, a lot of times what we'll do is with our chefs and everybody, even the cooks, we involve them and say, hey, let's collaborate. We'll say like, okay, we're doing a chicken dish. What kind of chicken do you want to do? You want to do fried chicken, a whole mm -hmm. chicken, roast chicken? And we think of kind of like sense of place too. You know, we're in Hawaii. Right. Huli chicken is natural. You well, know? so what has been uh, folks' reaction? How long have you had this on the menu? Well, maybe about two months now. Two, yeah. two months, I think. So. And patrons' think, reaction to it? I think um, local people they like it, yeah. and I think other people. What's what's good about when you do something local is that when you have tourists or people visiting, you know, from elsewhere. They're able to try something that has mm. local roots, you know, and it's like you can explain it to them what it really is. Right, right, right. You know, it's not exactly the same as what you grew up with. Right. You know, it has a little adjustments, but it, it, it's, it creates talking points. It creates an interest, tells you a little bit about your culture and things like that. So I think it's great. So you got the lap chong, you got the potatoes, the broccolini. What else do we have here? I, I'm uh, this is like a interested in what that might be. <laughs> it's not that complicated really. it's just okay. mayo and dijon ah, and some okay. parsley and Made stuff it easy, but yeah okay. yeah and then we have our marinade for the chicken we have a little bit of, like ginger some sherry um garlic show you inside a little bit brown sugar and perfect oyster a little bit i mean um ketchup yeah. what do we what do we start with so right now what we can do is we can get that chicken we usually what we do is we'll marinate the chicken okay about how long do you normally marinate it for? We marinate it overnight. Overnight? Yeah, so we'll marinate it. Nice and marinate soaked overnight. In. Yeah, exactly. You know, and then after that we do that, you know, we um, let it sit. And then after that, we'll roast it. Mm -hmm. So that's the first step. Sounds, it already sounds good. <laughs> and, and it smells good. Yeah, that's, that's a good start. Perfect. Well, we'll get this thing going. Uh -huh. We'll go to break. We'll come back and we'll start uh, cooking it all up and mixing it all together. and. Before you know it, I'll be tasting it. We'll be right back. Good. You know, Trini, I also have to say, the top of Waikiki, their happy hour is amazing. Oh. I, I've taken some friends and some business clients there, especially if you're in Waikiki and you just want to get the whole beautiful yes. sunset view. Half an hour, it just goes right around, and it's really nice. It's an yes. impress your friends yes. kind of place, it totally right? Is. It's Hawaii's only revolving yeah. restaurant. Yeah, and that view is amazing all day. And the great thing, validated parking, easy in Waikiki. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Come